All right, boys. A while back, I bought this huge Lego minifigure and accessory lot off of eBay. I'm pretty sure I spent $100 on this. And then when I moved, I forgot I had it. So we're gonna open it up today and see if we get our value from it. I also found some Pokemon card packs that I never opened. So we're gonna open up some of those too. Get out the uh, trusty little Oppenel here. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. And they really glued this thing in tight. There we go. And we can start going through this bad boy. First of all, I have no idea what this is. And a motorcycle. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off, as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So, Thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Nice. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure I'll do all of the prices for all of these minifigures, but I will try and do some. So we have an Alex there with a nice head. This is some sort of Ninjago girl, I think. Oh, this is cool. This is a, uh, a skeleton from Minecraft. I've never seen this variant before. It's not quite a wither skeleton, but it's like... Uh, I forget their names, but that's pretty cool. We've got a Ninjago Trooper, but uh, this is, I'm pretty sure, a Batman head, so we'll take that off him. One of the enemies from the Avengers, and just a Lego City civilian. Some sort of hippie doctor, <laughs> along with Ninjago head on top of him, so I, I don't know. Yeah, there's so much mix and matching. This is just a mustachioed man. We got, like, Harry Potter torso with evil face and like ninjago legs or something i mean you could kind of price some of these minifigures out because like the parts are worth money any lego minifigure is worth at least one to two dollars depending on the parts you pretty much can't find lego minifigures less than that so you can kind of guess some of the prices i'm pretty sure this is for a set uh i think maybe like hogwarts or something like that and it's a statue so that's Interesting. We got a shark. Oh, I am underwater. I really should have opened this before I made my Lego Jurassic Park video because I think there might be dinos in here because I did find a pterodactyl wing. Finally, an actual complete Lego Ninjago figure. <laughs> oh, there's just a raptor head in here as well as one single Hulk arm. Oh my God. Wow. All right, why don't we open our first Pokemon pack of the day? I don't know. Pokemon go to the polls, boys. Uh, uh, this is completely random video now. <laughs> Snover, Cramorant, and nothing. All right. GG's on that one, I guess. Oh, the raptor's arm! As well as skeleton minifigure-ish thing. Harry Potter! And like young Chris Pratt from Jurassic Park. And I'm gonna name him Steve. Although I think that's a Ninjago face. This is a dinosaur skull, but it is not Lego. Um, I could have used this in the Jurassic Park video. Again, I should have opened this a long time ago, but whatever. A one-legged prisoner. Oh, you can't even fix it. The, the leg part is torn off. Another one-legged, uh, wither skeleton? Bruh. Another dinosaur arm. Pretty soon we'll have a full dinosaur. There's a bag inside of a bag. What? Honestly, it all... Oh, Darth Maul head. Um, this is all mismatched. Ba Batman head on Stormtrooper, I think. Uh, <laughs> what the? Oh, that's a Han Solo body from Rogue One. There's some Star Wars in here, but yeah, super mismatched, super, super weird lot inside of this bag. And lots of Hermione hair. Yo, there's a hippo griff. Okay, I gotta stop. I'm having too much fun with this. Uh... <laughs> That's just a mismatched figure. There's some Marvel in there or something. Uh, Lego City Fanny Pack Girl, I guess? Except with Rose Tico's head. Who is this dude? I've never seen that Minecraft character before. <laughs> Creepy Ninjago guy? I, I would say this is definitely worth over $100. I, I basically just bought this because uh, I saw it had recently been listed. This is a cool mummy. And I remember thinking like, wow, they listed this way under value. I saw a bunch of people were watching it. There's a Lego citizen. And I think the reason they weren't purchasing it, because I, I do think this is already, you know, pretty banging, probably going to be worth well over a hundred bucks. But the pictures made it look like the quality was like 
really bad, but uh, I mean, so far, yeah, a few things are horrible quality, but I'd say like half of it is good quality, good to great quality. So I'm not really worried. I, I think this was actually a pretty good purchase. Uh, treasure chest, okay. Some of these random items do have value. I'll look some of them up and stuff like that, but I might miss a few things if you guys want to point out anything rare to me. There's another Hulk arm and a Velociraptor arm. Uh, the strangest zombie pigment I've ever seen. What I really need is more Batman villains. Um, that's Doctor Who, isn't it? Or like the Karen haircut? I don't know. Harry Potter Stormtrooper! And a Black Hulk arm, okay. Yeah, I really need Batman villains uh, for an upcoming Batman video I'm working on, but so far in this lot, not seeing anything of the sort. Right now, it's a lot of Lego City, a lot of Harry Potter, and a little bit of Star Wars. Um, all of these are decent, I guess, figs. Yeah, I mean like one or two dollars per. Another dinosaur bone that's not Lego. Let me just rack all these guys up on the back here. And let's do another Pokemon pack, cause <laughs> why the hell not? I don't know. <laughs> it's just for fun. I, there's some more that I'm probably not gonna open in today's video. So if you guys like the sporadic Pokemon openings during these videos, let me know. Uh, Hollow Darkrai. All right, this is all Lost Origin, so we're kind of hunting for that uh, Giratina alt art. I just, I want that so bad and I wanted to pull it myself, but uh, <laughs> it hasn't happened yet. I think this is a good set though, honestly. All right, Horsey, Shuppet, Shellos, Ducklet, Radiant Steelix, there you go, and a Spirit Tomb. Okay, well, we got a pulp. Rebel Pilot with the wrong head. Random Ninjago stuff again. Lots of random Ninjago stuff in here. I, I, I wish I knew more about Ninjago Lego. Lots of Minecraft in there. Minecraft is some of the least expensive Lego minifigures you can get. Uh, they're all worth about two bucks on eBay. So, by the way, while I place all of these guys down, I will tell you, I base my prices off of eBay's last sold. And I try to include shipping on there most of the time, uh, unless it's a like $5 or under figure. But that is how I do my pricing because it is physical proof that it has been sold for that price. Bricklink prices are good medians and stuff like that, but it is not sold listings. That's just what people want to get out of them. And eBay listings are also not definitive prices because they have not been sold. You have to look at sold listings. This is a really crazy looking dude. Oh, okay, I am cursed with Hagrids. Every single time I've ever gotten a Hagrid in Lego, my dog eats his legs. Um, so we'll see if this one survives. Oh, here's the rest of those pieces. This is like a shutter thing. What the hell is this? Robed dude, zombie pumpkin, Han Solo head on Hermione Granger's body, Ninjago, weird mix of stuff, demon from probably Ninjago, Batman. I think a lot of this stuff I could easily mix and match uh, things together with too. Like, you know, I can, I can kind of Frankenstein these characters together to actually be their full characters. So I'm happy about that. You know, it seems like not everything's missing. You just kind of have to put a lot of work in to get them all to match up. Ew, there's a big long hair. Gross. Uh, raptor head. Actually, Lego dinosaurs are weirdly expensive, by the way. A uh, flash on Chewbacca's body. What is happening? Ninjago villain. Oh, it's the lady from Jurassic Park with. Thor's head, I think? Nerd. Very cool samurai man. Ninja. Go. Again, more just like random minifigs with no particular sense out of them. They're just, they're just kind of all randos. Oh, iron golem head. Nice. Yeah, I would say there's probably nothing like super expensive. Probably the most we've found so far is like five, ten dollar figure, but again, it's sort of like everything adds up. These are all, you know, at the very least a buck figure, so it kind of adds up. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Hey, we have a complete figure. No, wait, that's Harry Potter hair. God dang it, Superman. I thought we had a figure that, that had all the matching parts, but no. <laughs> they had to give him Harry Potter hair. A bearded warrior. Ant-Man. Oh, here we go. The, the Flash's body. Nice. Another hodgepodge figure. Semi-complete Ninjago figure. Lady Adventurer. Headless droid. Extreme lady. Ninjago guy. Droid head. Alex. Oh, it's the, it's the girl from the sequels. And like a Minecraft hodgepodge. This is a weird one. Look at this dude in the Giga Mech thing. I have no idea what that is from. Oh, we got um Nebula, right? Yeah, okay, cool. An Avenger. More uh, raptor parts. Oh, oh wait, two raptor bodies. We could we could maybe 
get that built. Wither demon thing. Three separate strange looking people. Oh, the dude from Ninjago. I found Rose Tico's body. It's so funny how like none of these minifigures are actually put together. Maybe that wasn't a Hulk arm. I think it's a monkey arm. It's like a dragon wing, another pterodactyl wing, and another raptor leg. <laughs> Wonder Woman if it was a man? Weird cyborg dog. More random stuff, but it looks like that is, I think, Catwoman, I want to say? Maybe? I have to do some research, but we might have ourselves a Batman figurine. Yay! Prisoner who's very sad. Must be a life sentence. Uh, that's... Wait, is that Sabine Wren's armor? Ooh! If Sabine Wren is in here, I think she's actually worth some money. Uh, business suit man. Ninjago guy, part 30. Rebel pilot. A storm trooper. Okay, this guy is gas. I'm not gonna lie. He looks sick. There's too many minifigures. I gotta put them all down. This looks like someone important, but I don't know who it is. Same with this dude. Well, this guy's just got a lovely sweater. Oh, are those Batman legs? I think so. Yo, a Death Eater. Nice. Damn! This is an old Republic trooper body with a pilot head. Random dude. Cafeteria worker. Some guy from Slytherin. Steve! Oh man, another Slytherin. Harry Potter. Tony Stark's head on uh, Chris Pratt's body. Honestly, I'm gonna stop setting them all up because I'm running out of base plate. I'm just gonna start putting them in the back. War Machine from the Avengers. Space Guy. The Police. This dude. <laughs> I just don't... The problem is there's so many characters I just... I just don't know who they are. It's like a tribal criminal. Hey, yo, we got another Batman body. This one's like a medieval chest plate or something. Hey, we got Voldemort. The Mort. That's a Han Solo, I think, right? Is that a complete Han Solo? Is that the one from the poly bag? That actually might be worth something. And then I got no clue who this is. Ninjago! Some random pieces parts in here too. There, there's a lot of randomness to this. All right, time time to open up another pack. Why not? I want the Giratina. Give the Giratina, please. All right, let's see. We got Porygon, Ducklet, Blip, ooh, Spear Tomb, Trainer Gallery. Yeah, I'll take it, that's nice, sweet. Isn't this supposed to be Snape? Snape's body, but wrong head, I think. Hey, just a complete Ronald Weasley. <laughs> Mustachioed Short King Snow Trooper. Stop it. Get some help. Oh my god, is is that Ray Skywalker? This dude who works for a banana? Arrested development reference? An astronaut? Ninjago? Ninjago? Kevin Feige? Question mark? Random sword guy? Alex? Gray R2D2? We got Baldy over here. Ninjago, Panasonic Jaguar, extremely elated First Order Trooper, Ultron in regular clothes, Darth Maul, wait, is that, is that Darth Maul? I don't think that's Darth Maul. Hoth Trooper kind of, Ghost, Flannel Pajama Man, Harry Potter, and he's got Clark Kent's hair, wait, wait, we had Harry Potter, we had, we had Clark, we had, we had Superman with Harry Potter here, oh, it's all coming together, oh my, oh. Oh, the world is complete. Oh, 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 I've never been so happy in all my life. No! Chrome Trooper and uh, Indiana Jones hat and uh, shield thing. <gasps> we have another bag inside of a bag. Hold up. All right, this might be all of the accessories for this. So we'll open this after all the minifigs, I guess. I have no idea who this is. It looks like the Pope, the Pope if he wore regular clothes. Uh, Ninja Dumbledore. Ninjago. Science Boy. Hey, we got Fat Thor. Oh, wait a second. This is, this is a Star Wars torso, isn't it? That might be, uh, I can't remember. Gold Ninjago, Steve. Donald Duck, that is not Lego. And this dude, yo, hold on. Wait, that, if that is the Cloud City Boba Fett, that might be worth a lot of money because it does have the knee pad printing. That might be a really expensive Boba Fett if we could find the helmet. Oh, another one of these bodies. I kind of think they're from the Knights of Ren, which are worth a lot. This dude, this girl, Harry Potter, Ninja, Amoyne, Ninja, Ninja. Oh, we're, we're getting down to it. We're, we're getting down to the end here, boys. If that is, I think, I don't remember. <laughs> That's a Star Wars character. My mind is blanky. I've seen too many characters. Hipster, police officer, cyborg, dude, worker, sheriff. Oh, what the? Oh, that's um the Scarlet Witch's body, I think. All right, let's 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 open up some more Pokemans, okay? 
Pokemon time, everybody. Pokemon time. Let's see. Roserade. Oh, Aerodactyl V-Star. Nice. Okay, another hit. One more for the road, baby. One more for the road. Let's see what we got. Let, let's get it. Let's get it. Hold the phone. Wurmple. Nothing. Okay. Rip. That's fine. We got Legos to see. All right, this is going to be the last little batch here. No idea. Ninjago. Han Solo Torso. A couple more nondescript minifigures. Again, I'm probably going to value most of these at like a dollar, R2-D2, um, except for some of the named minifigures and named parts and stuff like that that I can find. Although, that's going to be pretty few and far between, but even valued at a dollar or two, this is definitely going to be worth it. Stormtrooper with a clone pilot body. Dude. I don't, I don't know these guys. Uh, Pigman. Random Ninjago. Weirdness. Uh, this girl, pumpkin skeleton, and the final minifigure is going to be this. No idea who that is. So, yeah, a massive amount of minifigures here, but we have the accessories pack, and the big thing about this is the Boba Fett helmet, I think. Hold on, we gotta get through some more Pokemon cards, boys. Let's rip it. Alright, we got a love disc at the front, baby. Come on, give me the alt art. Ooh! That's actually nice. Magnazone V, that's pretty cool looking. I like that. Alright, one more, one more. Come on, give us an alt art, baby. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's see here, and oh, Gears Tina V Star. That's pretty nice too, beautiful. Okay, accessory pack time. I'm running out of space, so we're kind of shoving it in the corner here. Oh, look at all spill out, yeah, buddy. Okay, yeah, buddy, that's nice. All right, we're searching for standout stuff here. Oh, oh, yes. Knights of Ren helmet. It is definitely the Knights of Ren. Hold on. Oh, yo. Okay, these guys are worth a lot of money, actually. I think I think they're like 10, 15 bucks a piece. Oh, another Knight of Ren helmet. Nice. Yeah, buddy. That's huge. That is huge. Oh, clone pilot helmet. So the Stormtrooper. Here we go. Can replace that. We have a complete clone pilot. That's pretty nice. Yeah, we. I mean, we're getting some... Decent stuff. There's like some rebel helmets in here too, which is really solid. Oh, first order helmet. Yes, yeah, so we can complete, I think, a ton of these minifigures. It's a military vest. But is the Boba Fett helmet in here? What is this Steve? What is that? Come on. Oh, Boba Fett helmet. Yes. Okay, where's the Boba Fett? What did I do with it? It's got a girl head right now, but that's fine. No, I think that's the wrong helmet, is it? Oh, man. Let me Google real quick, because that could be... The Cloud City Boba. I could be wrong, but I think it might be. Oh, sadly, it is not the Cloud City Boba. As you can see, the Cloud City Boba here um, has a slightly different helmet as well as arm printing. Ours does not. See, it would have been worth $100. Let me see, though, what it could be worth because it still might be worth something. All right, I'm seeing these selling for $15 to $20, which honestly, still not that bad. I, I would say that's pretty good, um, especially considering this whole lot was $100 and... Oh, there's the Batman helmet. I think this easily paid for itself, for sure. Um, I'll probably be selling a lot of this on Whatnot. Uh, you can follow my invite link if you'd like um, to Whatnot for a free $15 to spend over there. Um, I'll also be including some of it in mystery packs and videos and probably sell a little bit of it on eBay as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you ever want to sell me your sets, be sure to just email me at dailytacticsbiz, B-I-Z, at gmail.com. Um, I usually buy for a little less than market value, but you can sell to me in bulk if you'd like to, um, which can be an easy way to get rid of minifigures that you don't want anymore. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching. Wait, wait, wait. Two more packs. <laughs> Two more packs, baby. Come on. Come on now. Let's see. Nothing? Okay. All right. We got to end on a banger. We got to end on a banger. At least a pull. At least a pull. All right. I think there's something in here. Yes, sir. Aerodactyl V. We'll take that. We'll take that. All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.